Alright, so we just finalized a big trade here. Uh, Mr. Williams here, our left tackle. Uh, we weren't going to re-sign him. He was asking too much. He's 32 years old. So we decided to not re-sign him this year. Instead of just letting him go to free agency, we decided to trade him for our, uh, another middle linebacker. Somebody who can help in the tight ends and, and, and run stuff and CJ Mosley we get. So we traded a second round um, for the for this year's and a first round for next year and Trent Williams. So nice big trade. We try to get a receiver. It wasn't happening. Odell Beckham did not want to come to San Francisco. Week 9 coming off a very awful loss against the Patriots. Too many interceptions. Five thrown interceptions. But we made a trade this week. So we no longer have CJ uh, Mosley. He's been traded for to the Bengals for AJ Green and Mackenzie Alexander. So we definitely help our secondary and our uh, passing attack. Now we're going up against the New York Giants. Six and two. Six and two? Six and two. Just go look at their stats. More Giants. So Daniel Jones leading the way. Saquon also. Golden Tate. Defensively, what do they have? A rookie middle linebacker. of the year possibly anyways let's jump into it hey everybody it's the coach you're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports on tap we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the New York Giants I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon but for now it's Sunday Night Football and on the call as always Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll have Jimmy G calling the shots. Grew up in the northern suburbs of Chicago, went to eastern Illinois. Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, the meeting we had with him this week, that's one of the briefer ones we've ever had, isn't it? <laughs> wasn't too happy after last week. Not happy. Really determined to play a whole lot better, and he really can't play a whole lot worse. He's got to go out and show the team that the goods that he exhibited early are still there. Otherwise, he could lose the confidence that they have in him. And hoping to get rid of that interception bug. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. Got his target, Samuel. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 for the Niners there to first down. On first down, Harris. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. A look at the numbers for Harris in last week's game. 12 carries, 52 yards. On second and nine, Garoppolo looking left side. It's complete. He's got it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 39. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. They got Colton Miller that time, the first-round pick from 2018. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. There's Garoppolo to throw. There's the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. 13 yards on the pickup, and that'll make this a second down. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. And his throw is incomplete. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively 
as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Well, they took the shot. Didn't get it. And there's definitely a difference here because they had a chance to get seven, maybe eight if they pushed it. Instead, they'll likely settle. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball here, remember. So the next time we leave one of those coaches' meetings and, and we're walking out in the hall and you're like, how come we spend so much time talking about special teams? Here you go. This is why. This is why, right? And look, I'm, I'm right there with you. We hear it every time we meet with coaches, but it is a big part of it. Look at how early in the game this occurs. They block a kick, and not only does it set a tone, it sends a message for the rest of the game. Yeah, so much for our first points of the game. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 15 carries, 53 yards. Yeah, he could very well be on his way to a rushing title, but guess what? His offensive line, they're meeting separately because they want that rushing title as much as he does. They want to Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Eric Armstead in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talk with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. Here we go, here we go. Ready to get this next drive started. The New York offense at the line. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division. Looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. Number three goal, and the biggest goal, I think, is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can have as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for everyone possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Jones. From the gun, he'll throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. From the 21, it's second and 10. Now Saquon Barkley. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just... Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. 
Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Looking to throw. Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. It'll be a pickup of 15. This that'll lead to third down. Garoppolo going to try and throw on third. He finds McKinnon complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 13 yards there and a niner first. Now the Georgia Southern man. This is Jarek McKinnon. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down 49ers. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 43. Now Harris. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. On second and nine, Garoppolo. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Kyler Fackrell came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down and long coming up. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Throwing for his running back and he's got him complete. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this will remain a scoreless game. So the long field goal misses, and now the reverse. You're in a tough spot defensively. They'll start the drive at the 43. NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's, that's what we have here. He's got daylight past the 20. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season as his guys are on the board first here tonight. After a fairly uneventful first quarter, that last play, that'll make a few highlight clips. It certainly will, and you're exactly right. The first quarter almost felt like a feeling out process, didn't it? Both teams, okay, what are we going to do? Looks like they've ramped things up just a little bit to start the second quarter. This will be taken in at the one. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Ready to get this next drive started. The New York offense at the line. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Throwing his grapple on third down. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. Garoppolo now, 10 of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first and 10. They run with Harris. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On the ground, it's Harris. Oh, fighting off the defender. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. The Niners on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and nine. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. They'll run on first down. Harris. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. On second down now, it's Harris. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. On first down, Harris. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On second and very short. Garoppolo. And now Garoppolo lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They run with Harris, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. To throw, it's Garoppolo. This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line, Dexter Lawrence in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Now, that's something of a pick-me-up, but the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it. Those three points, that's not going to solve all the problems either. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending. And the pass is intercepted. He was looking for Ingram. Picked off here the 29. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. Now, remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. This fielded at the two. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. From the 35 on second down, Jones. Evan Ingram was the intended target, and now it's third down. 
Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Jones operating from the gun. Got a man, Slayton. 17 yards and a giant first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. He completes it to Tate. And he's got this down to the 35. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Jones throwing complete here to Tate. Give him nine there on the first down completion. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, he'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now Jones. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. It seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And this is Shepard on the catch. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. And Bullock will put this one through. And that will tie things up as we head toward halftime. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Finding green complete. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. There's Garoppolo on first and ten. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Throwing again on second down. Garoppolo, open man is Samuel, complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 33. That was signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. And remember, he had one blocked earlier. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty as they come up on first and ten. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. On first down, Jones. He's got his man. This is Tate. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Saquon Barkley running right. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, it's hard to get them started again occasionally. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Bosa racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job.
And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team that had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Set to take over again here on offense, Jimmy G and the 49ers. What can they do now? Mike, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ready to get this next drive started, the New York offense at the line. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 27 yards there, a first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 38. And now the throw hold in by Green. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They run the counter. It's Harris, and he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. You got it! You got it! And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. they become a little more ho-hum right now. Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. But I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. A toss out to Barkley. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. Barkley with a carry on first down, and he'll get about four. So second and six, fourth coming. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. It's hauled in by Shepard. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 15-yard line. Jones now, 10 of 16, throwing the football. It's first and 10. On the draw, this is Barkley. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They'll run it again with Barkley. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Throwing Jones. And that is incomplete. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Bennett's kick is good. And that's going to tie us at 13. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot Let's better go. running off the field. Here we go. Ready to get this next drive started. The New York offense at the line. And last time out, another missed field goal. So maybe their confidence wavering a little bit right now in the kicking game. And I'm with you on that. I think at this stage, they'd love to not run him back out there in a tough situation. But let's face it, they may have to. So right now, the head coach is talking to the offense coordinator and saying, call this game like we're going to put it in the end zone. Let's try and take the field goal out of it. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Garoppolo on 
first down. Green brings it in. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run with Harris. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Connects with Kittle underneath. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. On the delay, here's Harris. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Throwing on second and eight. Garoppolo. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Second and goal from the one. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And he will find his receiver, Pettis, for a 49ers touchdown. Dante Pettis, his third touchdown. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. Gold with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. Let's see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, good thing. Let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know about that. Too bad. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 23. There's Garoppolo to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Garoppolo looks to throw. He gets it complete to Harris. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. The last run got six, now second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. 
The Niners on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This time it's third and three. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. To throw again on second down, Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end, and it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Back to throw, Jones, and the throw there going to be incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line to throw it's Garoppolo and this one's incomplete Debo Samuel was the intended receiver but it's going to be second down so after the incompletion on first now second and ten looking to throw Garoppolo that's complete it's Kyle Juszczyk it'll be a gain of six and it'll be third down they face a third and four after that last completion gets them six Garoppolo a dump down to McKenna. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that's going to make it fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now Jones on first and 10. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. They call it no gain there on the first down play. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker, Fred Warner, right there on the coverage. Jones now to throw on third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. D Ford with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. A good kick, 49 yards. Just three on the return. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Looking to throw again on second down. 
Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 40. Here we go. What do Garoppolo now, first down throw. Over the middle to Kittle, complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 15 for the Niners there to first down. On play action, now Garoppolo. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Dexter Lawrence in there to get him. That is the sixth time that they have sacked him tonight. Another try after the first down sack. Garoppolo. Oh, he's good. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Dante Pettis. His second touchdown of the night. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. This is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Nick Bosa in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. To try again after the sack. Jones, the linebacker Fred Warner right there on the coverage. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Jones. It's caught. Shepard. And he gets it down deep into San Francisco territory. It's a big-time play there for the G-Man. 56 yards. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. here, we go, here, we go, here I just go. wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. On third down, here's Harris. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. And they take a knee. They need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. 
So the victory here for San Francisco. And I tell you, this was a fun one. Just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed, you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal? Even in games when one coach was a decided favorite, what do they always say to us? But you do know, this is really a seven-point league. Seven points either way usually decides a ball game. We had exactly that in this one. And not only that, but this is a gutsy road victory, one they can hang their hat on. So for the 49ers, they close out this first half at a very solid 6-2. and two. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Arizona to take on the Cardinals. Meanwhile, for the Giants, the loss will drop them to 6-3 and three now on the year. And they're going to get an extra week to stew over this as they're not back in action until week 11. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.